yeah, this one I, I enjoyed putting things together from old photos to you know try and make sure that everybody was uh, represented. And that was the the uh, thing which uh, dated when when Eric left uh, the Yardbirds. So that's kind of interesting. 1947. Thought that was kind of a hip thing to do. It didn't last very long. So there you go. <laughs> listening to the blues because my father had a jazz record collection all these 78s were in a in a, a box and uh, I picked out the ones that uh, I was attracted to uh, that had more of a blues thing to them and uh, when I went to uh, art school when I was uh, 14 they had a piano there and then I got interested in boogie woogie and uh, it's all grown out of that. Talking about room to move, it's, a, it's got a great beat and it allows a lot of uh, freedom for improvisation. So on most nights, we usually find a, a place to finish off the set with that. The, the, the beat, which is the catchy thing about it, uh, comes uh, influenced by Sonny Boy Williamson, uh, One Way Out, I think is the title, and that, that kind of kicked it off. <laughs> Black American music didn't really cross over onto white America, you know, so these two things were separate. But, you know, come the 60s and uh, whole new attitudes uh, and uh, new generations coming up began to appreciate what was on their own doorstep. And, uh, of course, by um, American blues musicians being uh, so popular in Europe, it kind of bounced back. And, uh, and I think it was also helped by the you know, the Rolling Stones and Cream, and they were always very quick to point out where the music came from on their own doorstep. Hello. Hello. Man. How are you? There's Mr. Mayo. Yes. Okay. May I shake you? Yes, I did. I, had, okay. I have a great respect for you, okay. the way you play, the way well, you tour. Okay. Just being on the road, it keeps you, keeps you physically uh, in shape. It's fun. It's great fun. It's a it's a nice contrast with uh, home life, you know. So you, if you do over 120 shows every year, you know it's a third of the year you spend on the road, and uh, the other two thirds for your for your home life. So it's a good a, a good balance. If you're healthy enough to get up there and and give 100 percent, then uh, that that's that's what it takes. That's what you need. And you still have that. Oh yeah. In Texas. Oh, you. Another one? Are you going to wind up the show with Room to Move tonight? No, we can't do Room to Move. It's 15 minutes long and we've only got three quarters of the set. You know, we've only got one hour set. Anyway, got to go. Yeah, thank you. Good luck. What show would be complete without a little room to move, huh? particularly care for the, 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 the term godfather of British blues, whatever, but it's something that, that that has been written about over the years and has stuck. You know, people still uh, get it written about about godfather of the British blues, blah, blah, blah. What are you going to do? <laughs> Thank you so much, everyone!